Tours, and today we are at Buy a Small House in Austin, Texas, and it's beautiful sunny weather and I'm going to show you one of their models. As you can see, we are out on the very front deck of the house. There's a huge porch area, which is awesome. If we ever get a tiny home, we definitely will make sure we have this deck. It feels really nice on a warm, sunny day. Right when you walk in, it's a big open area. I would personally want a kitchen table to go right here, maybe like a small size one, but you definitely don't have to because there is a whole bar top there to eat at. But if you are having guests, you might just want a few more places to sit. There's windows everywhere, which is really nice, especially Especially when you're in good weather you kind of let the daylight in and it makes the house feel a lot bigger than it actually is. We have a fireplace right here and then a sound system right above it and the speakers are actually built in in the house. Moving into the kitchen area like I said we have this bar top right here which basically can be the kitchen table. It's a lot of really nice counter space for prepping stuff in the kitchen. You have a full-size sink and the kitchen feels pretty full size to me. It's awesome, you have a lot of storage. You've got some cupboards up here with some snacks. We've got some cupboards down below the counter for all your pots and pans, silverware drawers. You also have a microwave and a stove top and a regular size oven, which is awesome because a lot of the time in this tinier homes, you have like poly pocket size oven, so it's really cool that you have an actual full size oven. It's a very nice kitchen layout. Moving towards the bedroom, right here we have a full size freezer and fridge, just like in a regular large house. And then you have your pantry space, which is also full size. I feel like they did a really good job of making the essentials full size which is a requirement for a tiny home. In the bathroom, you can tell that it's a little bit smaller, but there is a full-size shower in here, which is really cool because oftentimes in tiny homes, you lose that big shower size. You've got, you know, the bathroom essentials, toilet, a little storage cupboard up here, and then one more down below the sink. So pretty nice sized bathroom. <laughs> Here we are in the loft. I'm really short and I have to kneel, but that's okay because what you could do is kind of just set up uh, like a little office area up here. It would be pretty cozy. You can just sit here, do your computer work if you set it up nicely, or you could even put a little couch over there. There's definitely room to sit down. You could probably even put like, I don't know, some sort of TV system and it could just be your lounge area. So it's a pretty cool space. You can make it a yoga room. The options are endless. It's really nice because you have the view over the rest of the house and you can even see outside. There's windows. You get some sunshine up here. It's a pretty cool spot. So coming down from the loft, it goes right back into the hallway and into the bedroom space. I also really like how there's really high ceilings here. It makes it feel like a bigger area than it actually is. So in the bedroom, you would have the bed right here. You have lots of storage above the bed that goes all the way across. And then the nightstand on either side has more storage as well. So you have room for a queen size bed for sure in here. At the bottom of the closet, you have your sliding out drawers. And then the best part of the room is this giant closet. It has two sides. And then in the middle, you have more drawers. So this is essentially your dresser. And then there's actually space and a cable connection for a TV, or you can customize it and just add shelves up there for more storage if you want the loft to be the TV room. So directly attached to the bedroom, you have this sliding glass door and it goes out to another patio, which I really love. You have a nice deck out here for yoga. You can set up some chairs, even put a little table out here for a nice outdoor dining area. It's really cool. I really like this tiny home because it does have the outdoor decks, which I've actually never seen on a tiny home before. So it's an awesome addition. So as you guys can see, this is actually a bigger tiny home. So this would be a perfect model for someone who's looking to transition to a tiny home, but maybe wants to do it a little more gradual and not go super small. Thank you for watching Average Joe.site. If you liked our content, please hit the subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please click the like button. I don't like to say goodbye, so till next time. Thanks. Peace and goodbye.